G'day, mate, and welcome back to Captain Ministry with me, Janik. Today, 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 I plan to retire. Plan to retire. Plan to become a chicken farmer. Plan to get chicken farming up and running. Plan on giving the colony some eggs and some well-deserved meat and head into retirement. No longer take care of the colony. No, t no longer be in charge of the island. Leave it to a younger generation and retire permanently as a chicken farmer. We'll see how it goes. Uh, at the same time, we, as always, need to thank you guys for loving the series, liking the videos, subscribing to the channel, and also give a big shout out to those that go above and beyond. Today, we're gonna be thinking Leif Christensen? Leif Christensen. I'm gonna go with Leif Christensen uh, for choosing to become a YouTube member, choosing to support the channel, keeping us ad-free. Thank you again, Leaf. Uh, I'm probably sorry. I'm definitely sorry for ruining your name, but then, you know, I'm, I'm really good at ruining people's names. Um, Leaf has been sent over to here. Um, brand new mind control tower. Unfortunately, it's not really set up. Um, we've set up some basics, like, you know, some dump chests and all that sort of stuff. But that's about it. Now, one thing the devs did add is the ability for me to press V on this to copy that station to then paste it to this station, which will then assign all my advanced logistics and also dumping sites um which is great except i don't want you dumping to these chests i want you dumping to these chests i also want you dumping to uh this chest uh and probably you've got two fuel stations right yes i don't want you doing that fuel station that one's a little bit far away um so we're gonna send leaf over here to this little spot which is just gonna dig through this corner i want this corner gone at the same time we're good on coal, so we're going to pull all the trucks off that and put them onto this. Yes. Uh, actually, I've got too many dump trucks. Can I? Uh, do I? Yeah, we'll craft some more. Um, now, as for these guys that are rolling around with coal and have nowhere to put it, um, my answer is we're just going to hit the delete button. Um, it's going to cost us 0.1 uni, but it's going to make the items disappear to the shipyard. At which point it becomes a later problem and not a now problem. Which means they can get back to digging, which is what we're all in favor for. Uh, so we're going to be dumping dirt, rock, dump, dirt, rock. Uh, we've got dirt as the dirt is low priority, rock is the high priority, because dirt is going into the coal mine. And I'm not in any particular rush for that project. That can take as long as it needs to take. Rock is always important because rock gives us access to other things. We're going to have two of those, please. Uh, rock gives us access to other things like. I want to get a little pier out here for a future project. We also need to get a giant pier out here. And once this is done, I can... Well, I can at least fill this into layer one with rock and then just put dirt over the top. Um, so the dirt's just being dumped as like a... Well, so it needs to get dumped somewhere. Uh, also, this little team is almost finished. So close. So close. A couple of tiles left and then they will have leveled out this area, which will be great. And we'll put them onto, I don't know what project. Uh, so uh, next thing we need to talk about is housing. We're going to upgrade you really quickly. So you're done. I need to go to the world map and we need to send the ship who is looking at two pirate chests. Um, so, sorry, treasure chests. Tr treasure chests. Um, because there are pirates on the world map, obviously these must represent treasure chests. And we're going to tell our boat to go to this one. Which means he's going to have to drive through this one and this one. Uh, treasure chests on the world map indicate there's some sort of loot. So we're going to grab some sort of loot. Uh, no available designations. Oh, you're done. Excellent. Uh, as for this tower, you've seen better days. We're going to make you go away. I have so many towers. They're so cheap. We could just build another one. Uh, but it does mean that we're going to send you guys over to here. Yes, because uh, I need to dig through this corner because we need room, because we need to put down chicken farms. And they're probably going to go about here. So some time ago, we got the ability to get chicken farms. We did the research. We got one new building being the chicken farm itself uh, and a whole bunch of new products. Uh, one being chickens. Surprise, surprise. Another one being eggs. Awesome. Uh, chicken meat. Uh, sorry, chicken carcasses, meat, and I can't remember what last one's called. Meat pieces? Something like that. Uh, what did we find? We found canola seeds. Okay. Uh, that means we're going to make a quick trip across the island and unpause you, you, and you and have minus 30 workers. Ex oh, I was trying to look at research. I know, we're going to win. We're going to win. It'll be great. It'll be glorious. We won. And we also found poppy seeds. Okay, you're going to come home uh, into research. Uh, can I have 
canola. Uh, poppy seeds. Oh, wow. They're all the way up there. Um, okay. Well, we're going to grab sugar cane whilst we're here. Actually, I don't want sugar cane yet. Remove from queue. Uh, we'll just have sausages, which I can now double click on to add to the research queue, which is awesome. All right. Uh, 26 workers. World map. Do you have people I can buy? No. Uh, yes. Let's buy some slaves from there. Uh, and buy some slaves from there. Cool. Problem solved. All right. Boat's going to come home. Uh, can we get rid of that? Okay. So, uh, today, 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 chicken farming. First step is we need to get some chicken farm set up. Now, chicken farming is, um, odd because all it tells you is you need animal feed and you need water and it doesn't tell you how much you need. And it's not going to tell you that until you actually get chickens in here. So, we're going to plan for six of these. Uh, now, those of you who have already made, maybe done chicken farming, you might say, JD, that's heaps. And I'm like, yeah, it is. It is. I fully accept that's heaps. Uh, we want heaps anyway. Okay. So, we're going to put you there. Now, I need to get animal feed, which is almost full. And we cannot allow to back up from here to there. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a U-shaped balancer right here uh, with a belt. And then another belt. And height... Okay, height two, so we can sit on top of this belt. And then we're going to run all the way through to here. Here. And then come down to height one. Can I go... Be ramped? I don't... I think you might be ramped. Okay. We'll go to there. We'll go to there. We'll come down to ground level, which is going to block any future trucks. Hello? Ground level. Uh, three tiles, please. Uh, it's going to block any future trucks coming through here, but we really don't care. Because, well, just I don't care. Uh, that's that's wrong. That's wrong. Can we... All right. Let's pick up the farms. Uh, slide them back so they connect to that belt. Cool. That'll make my life a little bit easier. So we're going to go one, two, three. All right. Let's just get those plugged in to start with. Uh, Unity... Well, let's just unite that part, that part, and that part. Now, the reason I put in a balancer is we're going to priority the food out there. But I need to make sure all the food gets used. Otherwise, if the animal feed doesn't get used, I risk backing up this belt. If I back up this belt, we might have corn get stuck and therefore no wheat goes into bread or vice versa. So I need to make sure that that keeps moving at all times. So we're going to obviously have to make sure that if if we can't priority out to here, we can send it somewhere. Ideally, I want to do this before it goes into a giant box, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so we'll have to work out something. I don't know what the something is, but um, potentially we could run it into a boiler and burn it. Now, we happen to have a couple of boilers over here which we could run it into, so that is a viable option. At the same time, our chicken farm, which is filling up with food, needs to fill up with water. So we're gonna grab a pipe from here. Uh, height one, that top. I'm gonna run it, okay. Uh, height two, it seems. Uh, we're gonna run it, s no, no pipe. No pipe. Height one. Then around the corner, one tile. Cool. That way I know you're flat at the corner. Then you can come up to height two and press the F button so you don't try to connect to things like a bad pipe. And we'll hang you out the end. Okay. Then we'll take our pipe at... Whoop. R, F, yeah. And then we'll just plug in like that. Okay. So, uh, upgrade said pipe. Uh, or build said pipe. And build said pipe. And we should be good to go. Yeah. Water. Water, we are pulling off this main line. And this is a 60 pipe, not going through a splitter. So it's like, if there's water in the pipe, we'll take some of it, which leads us to a couple of problems. One is a 60 pipe, and in theory, we're using uh, 8, 16, uh, 32, 6, uh, 40 something, plus uh, 6, 12, uh, 18 ish. Yeah, we, we, we're sort of maxing out a 60 pipe if everything's running at full speed. So we're just going to up upgrade the trunk line, this main line in. I uh, really don't want to bring it to there, but we'll bring it all the way up 
Because I know chicken farm is going to use a little bit more of the water than we expected. All right. Chickens. We need to get chickens. Where do you get chickens from, JD? Well, it's not like you arrived on the island with your 90 closest best friends and chickens. You arrived here with your 90 closest, uh, closest friends, a couple of tractors, a tree extractor, and that was it. Uh, so you need to go to the market. And on the market, we can trade construction parts for chickens. So we're going to trade for some chickens. Now, normally, when you trade for chickens, they end up, or when you trade for anything, they end up at the trading dock, which you might notice is empty. And you're like, okay, maybe it's keep empty. Maybe a truck came and picked it up already. And maybe the truck, in the time we've taken to fly across the map, has driven the chickens all the way across to the chicken sheds and shoved the chickens in here. No, what actually happened is they pretty much arrive here instantly, which is good and bad. Good, because um you can get them in very quickly and your trucks don't have to transport. Bad, because um I have no idea what happens when we over by chickens, but we're going to find out together uh, if whatever keeps flipping up and down stops flipping up and down, because it's really annoying. All right, so uh, when you get in chickens, you have a couple of things. We have a growth per cycle. So every minute we're going to get a couple of free chickens, because um, chickens repopulate with other chickens. Who would have thought it? They're going to need a certain amount of animal feed and a certain amount of water. And as you have more chickens in here, they're going to need more feed and more water. Okay, we can turn on pause growth, which means they stop breeding. I don't know how you put cod dobs on chickens, but it turns out somehow you can. At the same time, they're going to produce eggs. The more chickens you have, the more eggs you have. It sounds simple. Okay, we can also turn on this button. When we put on, turn on this button, we get this little red bar here. With this little red bar, we can make sure some chickens don't quite survive the day. Uh, yes, so we're going to turn that off for the moment. We're going to click on this. Uh, we're going to click on this a few times. Um, just to, you know, have a decent population to start with. And before we do anything else, we need to hook up some belts. So I need to bring eggs out because we're already producing eggs. Uh, and we're going to run this way with our eggs. I want to bring them over to here, let's say. Where do we want to run our eggs? Okay, you still stop there. All right. So I need to run my eggs into one of these guys. So I think, first off, okay. oh, that's a very fast belt. Can we not use a very fast belt? Uh, if I bring eggs to there, I should be able to get you into there neatly. Okay. All right. Cut. Back it off. All right. So we're going to run this over the output, output belt, I guess you could call it. Uh, that we have currently. So I want to plug into here, which means I want to run over the output of all the weird food, which we currently have a water pipe over. Where's that coal? This corner is very precarious. Very precarious. All right. So we're going to run uh, our belt uh, into this tile. Uh, nope. Flat around the corner. Then we're going to come up to height number one. We're going to run beside the water pipe. Uh, and then I'm going to run underneath the bridge. Now, because the bridge is a large bridge, it does have that extra... The two slots in the middle have a little bit of extra height on them, which is really handy. Do I want to raise those water pipes up, high, up higher? Nah, we'll just have the belt do a little, a little bounce. A little bounce. Okay. And we'll plug you in there. Now, means I need to turn you on. We need to set you to eggs and eggs. And once we get eggs in here, we'll have a third food category. Once we have a third food category, a couple of things happen. We go from a plus eight, which we have currently, when we have fruit and veggies, to a plus 12, because we're actually feeding them three different categories of food. So we get a little health bonus, which is great, because they keep sneezing on one another and dying. Uh, high supply of wood. I don't care, but thanks for the notice. Uh, we could probably definitely turn that off. Uh, okay, so I have also have another issue that we can't harvest all the potatoes. Now, that's down to we're eating less potatoes than we're eating vegetables, okay? We're now supplementing our potato carbs with corn carbs and bread carbs. So I have a, a situation where potatoes just can't get out on the belt and into the machine or into the, into the housing quick enough. Now, I could... I could put in a large storage box and just whack a box here and we could just store all the potatoes forever and luckily they don't go bad, which is very, very good because generally it takes about three months. Uh, go away. Three months for them uh, to leave the rear farm and travel on the belt, assuming there's no blockages 
all the way to the front farm and into storage. And they spend the whole time sitting in the weather, baking the sun and getting doused by the rain. So that would be a very bad idea. Not enough maintenance. Okay, we should probably investigate that. So what I want to do is any of these farms that I see have too many potatoes, we're going to actually swap the potato cycle out for fertility cycle. Because I recently did a video on farming. Farming. If you're interested, you want to know more about farming, I'll link it up in the top right hand corner. But we're getting 8.6 and 8.3, which is de definitely very, very efficient on our farms. But if the potatoes are going nowhere, I don't care how efficient it is, they're going nowhere. So we're literally growing them for them not to be able to fit in the farm, not to be able to fit in the belt. So they just wasted. If we swap it out to a green manure cycle, it's going to keep our fertility nice and high still. We bring in fertilizer at the rear, don't we? Yes. Okay, so you guys are going to be the least likely to get fertilizer. Um, so we're still going to keep our fertility nice and high. Uh, also, we won't get a penalty for not rotating our crops. And we'll get our extra veggies. So we're just going to swap just one or two of these across to this cycle for now and see how it goes. Um, it also, like I said, it's going to bring that fertility equilibrium from 65 up to 80, which is why we're going to get the extra veggies. Yep. Okay. So not enough maintenance. We could probably sort that out. Um, I'm willing to bet that's as simple as we're making 480 multiplied by three, which is about 1500 and we need 1600. Good. Uh, unpause. Hey, solved. All right, so that's that problem solved. Uh, that's a lot of potatoes. It's four of them now. Uh, corn mash. Yes, because we're not running these at full speed. In fact, I can turn off three of them um, and save ourselves a few people. All right, so we're going to build this belt before I get completely sidetracked again. Uh, there to there to there. Is that everybody built? I'm going to unpause you. So we're going to start outputting some eggs, wonderful eggs, and they shall go over there and start feeding into the system. But we can already see that I need 10.4 animal feed. I get 5.1 eggs every minute, and I have 300 and something something chicken. Obviously, it'd be much more helpful to you guys if we maxed this out so we knew exactly how many you needed for 500 chickens. And the answer is we're going to build one. Oh, actually, no, 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 pause. Pause. I'm curious. What happens if we click? Oh, not enough space in animal farm or no animal farm built. Okay, that's what happens. All right, so you can't accidentally buy too many of them. But if we build you and you, and probably good if I hook water pipe in as well. Uh, yep. Well, you have 500 anyway. Okay, so at 500, you're going to need 15.1 animal feed per minute. You're going to need 18 water per minute, and you're going to produce 7.3 eggs. And if we turn on slaughtering, it's going to change none of the numbers, but now we're going to also get out 10 chicken carcasses. Okay, so that's the important number we're looking for. Uh, also means I'm going to remove half the stock from here and put it here. And we'll just start doubling up our chickens, uh, which means we'll get your egg as well. Okay, uh, and more importantly, I haven't lost any eggs in that deal. This will take a second to kick in, but you know, I'm going to make the same amount of eggs. I'm just spreading it between two chicken farms. All right, so with our chicken carcasses, we can bring those out. And we're going to bring those out because obviously... Well, waste not, want not. Uh, we're going to run those out. And we can do a couple of things with those. Uh, one of the new recipes we got was the food processor. Not like the food processor that sits on your kitchen bench. Slightly bigger version. Uh, this will take in 30 chicken carcasses and 9 water and 3 salt and give us 15 meat and 6 meat trimmings. That's the words I was looking for. So if I was to build 6 farms... And they produce 10 meat each. And you, sir, use 30 chicken carcasses. We can run two of these machines. So that's going to be our plan. Uh, we're going to... I don't like the fact that you're sitting there. I know I unpaused it, but I don't like the fact that you're sitting there saying not enough maintenance. It sort of worries me. Uh, can I build that and that? And we don't need that belt. So we're not going to take the animal feed anywhere else. And can I just get a water pipe into you because we're going to be enabling another farm eventually hey maintenance went away cool all right uh so we want to have a couple of these now i need to well i need to it's gonna be easier if we do these bit by bit so let's add eggs to there eggs to there and eggs to there all right and then we can run our meat 
out to there and run you out to there and out to there and out to there okay so this is going to be our meat belt and we're going to have to get our meat belt into the back of this building plus we have to give it water which is good because somebody sort of planned ahead and put a water pipe right here which we're going to need to upgrade so we'll do that at the same time you know what uh let's plan in our animal feed belts yep uh there to there to there and little pipe to there and to there and to there. i probably should have upgraded that big pipe first that we could have done it as one hit all right doesn't matter Doo -doo -doo. and i don't think we need it to keep it any larger now it's at the end because we're only going to run a couple of these which use nine water each okay so we need to get our meat trimmings which are this belt and we're going to bring them past our chicken farm and then right up the outside we're going to keep them at height one i think uh what else do we need to add we need to add water and salt so water is obviously this pipe here salt uh well the quickest way for us to get salt is off a brine pipe luckily this pipe here is brine made from our desalinators so under the water tab we have the heated pond because uh, that seems like the easiest way for us to get a whole bunch of water. I can have a pipe, please, and we'll just plug you into there. Now, you are going to give us um, <clears throat> just a little bit of water, 24. It's a little bit excessive, but it's probably okay. I don't really mind having it too much. Uh, storage, 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 storage. Who's storage? Let's put you there. Cool. All right, so I'll get a salt. I don't mean it's again. It's at 69, 68. It's fine. All right. Uh, next thing I need to do is I need to get it over there. Now, in theory, I just raised the belt. But I know I want to get mega trucks over here, okay? And mega excavators. And of course, they can't go under belts at all. So I need to plan to have bridges. So that's one of the things I've been trying to do for the last little while now. Plan to have bridges here, there, and everywhere. So I'm thinking if we bring the belt out, I need to have trucks to be able to get into here. Uh, so I'm thinking we'll put a... Uh, sure, let's just run it in line with this line. And we'll run our salt there. Okay, so can I get a salt belt? Uh, and there's no point me not raising it when I can raise it. Uh, that way little trucks can at least path directly. And just stop there. Okay, so once we got to there, this is our ethanol tank. I don't really have room to run it straight across on the left-hand side. So it's sort of got to run in on the right of that tank, uh, which is this tile. So again, I'll raise it up so I can, you know, just because I can. And as you're already at height two, we'll leave you at height two. Uh, oh, look, and the pipes are also at height two. Um, pipe, 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 pipe. The pipes are always the easiest to run. Okay, uh, so salts... We need five tiles to get you to ground level, so we're gonna whack you there. Uh, do I wanna move it down a tile so it lines up with the water? Not really. All right, power, you're annoying me. So we can see my power is currently having an issue, okay? The current issue it's having is the max output has slipped too low, okay? We have the flywheels, which store a whole bunch of power, but the problem is I sort of have too many flywheels on there. So after the power gets too low, there's not enough, um, mechanical power to speed it back up quick enough that it alleviates the problem okay i went for too much storage not enough grunt to get the drivetrain running fast enough okay the quickest fix for that is i turn you off auto balance okay first power plant provides five megawatts second power plant provides another five megawatts i'm sitting at at all times about seven seven and a half so if I leave one of these guys running all the time, that's going to bring me up to about seven-ish megawatts worth of mechanical power into electrical power at all times, which is just going to be my answer. Okay, It's just so much quicker. These two will still be, well, this one will still be on auto balance. I can't have you on auto balance because I need you to actually consume the low pressure steam that's coming out of this guy. But you can stay on auto balance, saving ourselves a little bit of fuel, but that should solve our problem. If I go up to over 10 megawatts, we have problems. We're getting close to having 10 prob uh, problems. All right, so we still have problems with potatoes. 
So again, I'll swap you over to fertility as well. All right, back to meat, because you know, priorities. Uh, you're at 5,000 apiece. Okay, well, in that case, let's build you as well. Let's run that into there. Let's run that into there. Uh, let's build some belts. Uh, that belt, that belt, that belt, that belt, that belt. Uh, we're going to enable slaughtering on you, enable slaughtering on you, and enable slaughtering on you. Uh, same time, I'm going to click this. 250? Yeah, 300. 300. We're just going to click the button to absorb chickens from the other places, and then, you know, we'll be okay-ish. All right. Back to you. Uh, I want to move you backward. Uh, this is our meat. Meat, meat, meat. Which... Okay, before we do that. Chicken. After you made around the corner... Uh, not chicken, salt. After you made around the corner, there's nothing stopping you dropping to height one. So we'll drop you at height one. We'll put our chicken meat... Uh, that belt. Uh, it's ground level. Okay. Uh, which now means... Uh, hello? Top belt. Yes. Ground level. Uh, ground level's there. Chickens is also there. Water. I should be able to plug in without a problem. So I'm going to plug you, take you, plug you there, and plug... Hmm. Water can go slightly off center. Cool. All right. Uh, that looks like it didn't connect. Because I just jam it into a port and it goes into this port. Yes. Okay. All right. So that should give us mm, chicken plus water plus salt in a meat and meat trimmings. Okay. Can I build all of those belts and all of those belts and pipes and this belt all the way back? Can I? Oh, I didn't need. I didn't need you actually. Yeah, you, you were just an overshoot. All right, we get that bridge done. You're already half full of salt. You're going to make 24 salt. We need a grand of total of three. So we should be fine. At the same time, we're just going to copy and paste Um, Yeah. Yeah, because that's all we need to do. Because, like I said, in theory, we should get 60 meat out if I get all three farms running. Which, considering... That's still very full of animal feed, and the belts are slightly backed up occasionally. But I, I'm pretty sure we can do that without too much problem. Uh, if we can, we should, can start on the second lot of farms. All right. You can... You're sticking out. You can go away. All right. So, uh, copy recipe there to there. All right. So, we are now going to make meat, meat trimmings. Uh, and I need three workers. Can I... Oh, we're max population as well. All right. Upgrade you. Alright, so first thing I need to do is I need to get my meat somewhere. Because um, it's very important that you stick your meat somewhere. Uh, so we're going to take our meat, which is going to be on the flat belt. Okay, no, we're going to start the other end. Alright, we're going to start the other end. It seems like the logical thing to do. We're going to take our meat. We want to put our meat into that dark hole. And we want to bring the belt. Come on this way uh, which is going to run into a bit of a problem around this corner but we can probably work it out somehow um, technically I'd really like you to go underneath the egg belt but I don't see that happening okay. so we're going to run you at height 1 to there okay what do I need to do we can go above the belt okay no above the belt works and then you run underneath that belt. Okay, so at this point, actually, we could just stay at height two. Yeah, let's just stay at height two all the way around till we get to... No, we can stay at height two all the way. Yep, let's just stay at height two all the way, all the way back to here, we originally made. And is that one giant belt? I hope so. Because that means I just have to click this once. It is. Cool. All right. Uh, so we need to bring our meat out so it'll run over and jam into that hole. At the same time, I also have the meat trimmings. So we're going to start with our belt. Uh, we're going to bring you out, upper tile, to the right, uh, and stop there. 
Uh, you'll do the same. Yep. And then us, we go there. Come on. I need you finished. I need you finished so I can plug into you. Build faster. Ah, uh, I know it's a long belt. All right. Ah, uh, ha, potatoes. Low supply of copper ore. Okay, that sounds bad. But I have an alert on you when you're less than 75%. So it's not that bad. You guys are picking up stuff and dumping it. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, the copper guys are actually up on the top of the hill. They're up on the top of the hill. They're just give, removing some of this topsoil. Um, because at the end of the day, it's on top of the copper anyway. And it also gets me up access back up to the top uh, of this island section. Do I want them to... I technically, I sort of do want them to trim back more. But we're not going to because we're on low on copper ore. So, uh, we know the bottom of the copper mine is around about 15... So we're just expanding out this just a bit at a time, just having them trim things bit by bit. But realistically, I want rock, uh, dirt, and you're actually meant to do copper ore. So, you know, I don't mind them sitting up there and, and, and removing that. Okay. How's that money? Yep. Uh, retaining walls. Yep. Uh, ha whoop, whoop, whoop. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, low supply of construction parts. Yes, we're technically low on construction part ones. I know that. Uh, the loop back belt is running because we're trying to get full on twos and threes. Don't care. Low supply of corn mash. I realize it's perfectly fine. I've decided I only care if it's full now. Uh, mining day. Oh. 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 That, that, that's. I have nothing to dig. I wish the message literally said, I've got nothing to dig. Fix it. All right. Uh, really quickly. Can I cut in the corner of this? Uh, I could probably like all the coals buried underneath the corner of this mountain somewhere so whilst we're here whilst you guys are free i know i need to send you off to another project but can i just clear a little bit of space just so it's not like like ridge brick wall well cliff cliffside because um if i don't do it i imagine somebody is going to come roaring over that bridge at top speed and go straight up that mountain and end up tra trapped up here between peaks with like, I can't path out, please help. All right, uh, where were we? We were making meat. Um, Not making meat. We were plugging our meat into the belts and so we could move it to a dark hole and shove it in. All right, so with that done and a little bit of uni spent, we should now be able to make meat, run our meat on a long belt off to a dark hole and put it into a dark hole. Now... Obviously, it depends on how many chicken farms I have and how many chickens I have. And the good news is these are all full and animal feed is still doing pretty good. So we're going to build another one. Now, animal feed is dropping. I fully admit it is dropping very slowly, but it is dropping. So it's something we're going to have to keep an eye on uh, and potentially do something about. I do want to just copy that setting and we're just going to paste it to all of them. That way they're all set correctly with enable slaughtering on. Because I, I need to slaughter. Well, I don't need to slaughter. I choose to slaughter when it fills up because they're already at 500. We might as well chew off the extras. Now, you can... I should mention this quickly. You can, if I do this lots... Cool. You can, if you can't afford to feed your chickens, do this. Uh, and that suddenly gets you a whole lot of chicken carcasses. I'm not sure why it gets you a whole lot of chicken carcasses. But it seems if you can't feed them, it makes the I can't feed them problem definitely go away. Um, so, yeah, it, it's an option if you can't feed them. Um, also, there's an option to let them starve, which is something we'll probably end up doing later. Okay, so we're also going to output meat trimmings. Now, meat trimmings, I have a couple of options. Uh, meat, because it's important to know what you can do with your meat. Uh, so, meat trimmings, we can burn them for air pollution in case you need to kill off more people i'm pretty good at doing that without help uh, but it is an option we can put them in the digester and get out some fuel gas and some compost that is a valid option in theory we're going to be choosing six each machine with all the chicken farms going so possibly an option maybe maybe uh pause pause, pause and pause all right, uh, the other option we have in the recipe book is a mixer into compost. Compost, of course, we can turn into, well, 
landfill we can drop it on the land and you know make some compost and then you know have um more green grass to plant more farms to make more food to feed more chickens or we can turn it into sausages which is the research we just picked up this episode uh sausage production which is a perfectly viable option can we click on that please so back in the food processor we add meat trimmings plus flour plus salt plus and that gives us sausage which leads us to a couple of problems uh one i need to pick the right recipe uh that one uh so good news is i have meat trimmings right here i have salt right there uh so they're the easy ones done the bad one is um i don't really have flour so we need to work out a way to get flour uh meat trimmings we're gonna bring out to here around the back and straight into that slot and same goes with you uh also we plug you into there uh the other problem we're gonna have is this needs 24 meat trimmings on a good day we're gonna make six and six so i can't run this machine very fast and it's only gonna give me 24 sausages we go back over here and it helps if i unpause you and actually tell you that you can put your meat in dark hole and then all the meat will disappear uh one sausage feeds 22 people i'm gonna make not a lot of sausages so be warned also it only gives you 0.1 uni like it's the hardest type of food to make and you get next to nothing for it you have been warned so we are going to uh make sure we output our sausages yep uh we're gonna build this and then we're gonna try and work out where the hell we're gonna get flour from uh so flour we're already making over here conveniently in this very very tight little uh bundle where we make wait now the way the belts work is this one is most likely to output first this one is least likely to output first so if the system's backed up this one's never gonna run which means i'm gonna take some bread and uh, some flour off here now we need six we make 16 flour there i would need six flour here if i want to run this at full speed we're not running this at full speed we're running at this half speed if i'm lucky uh, you're at, oh god, uh, okay, can we unpause you and add some f chickens from some of you guys, yeah, minus, minus. the chickens breed far too quickly, that's my answer, uh, so we're gonna take some flour off this one, uh, cause we're not running this at full speed, we're running this at barely running speed, uh, if we're lucky, uh, we need to get to there, so my choices are, over the animal feed belt or right the way around the outside uh believe it or not over the animal feed belt is the neatest way to go because everything else we're gonna be saving for future projects uh animal feed yeah we can run it over the animal feed oh i think our animal feed belt might not be fast enough i, I want you to go there oh okay the height two then you can come down to height oh, height three height two yeah height height something uh, this way, uh, I can't bring you, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, you, you're going to get to where you need to go, okay, I'm going to bring that into there, alright, quick delivery, that's the whole belt in one piece, uh, so how much food do you want, you want 15, so that's 15, 30, uh 60 90 yeah um we might need to upgrade that belt just a little bit because it currently only moves 60 the animal feed is going down so technically we're eating all of it well the chickens are eating all of it we're not eating all of it uh you're at 500 again minus 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 340 minus yeah it, you're just moving it to other farms you go five 450 you're all in the 450 range okay so uh that'll get us flour flour's gonna take a minute or two to get here once our flour does get here we need to also get this across the map uh which is gonna be this gap well you know what we're gonna try because sausage gets delivered so rarely I'm going to try and put meat and sausage on the same belt. There's nothing that says we can't unless we get too much meat. And, like, I, 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 don't, know, I don't know whether you got the problem. You know, maybe you have too much meat. 
it leads to problems in life. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that this particular dark hole can accept both our meat and our, our, our sausage at the same time. But we'll have to find out. So uh, that should get meat trimmings with the flour and the salt. We need nine salt plus three salt plus three salt. And we make... 24 salt, so I think we do, we're covered. Uh, that should put our meat and our sausage on the belt at the same time. Run them on a, one shared belt right the way across the map. We should be good. Uh, oh, there's one more belt segment. This segment. Upgrade. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so ideally, that balancer, I need to work out some way to put it, like, here and do a force into all the... Actually, no, I need to do it Need to do it before the feed in, really. We can worry about that later. In the future, I really need to put that balancer back here and make sure it goes into chicken food storage first. If it can't go into chicken food storage, then we can ship it elsewhere. But uh, all the chicken farms seem to be running at flat out speed. We're going to unpause you. We're going to add a few. That's the minus button. We're going to add a few hundred chickens to you as well. Uh, it's maybe too much. 425 at each. And you're at. 406. Okay. Uh, we're pretty much good. We're pretty much good. We have uh, chickens up and running. We have meat up and running. We have sausage up and running. And you're going to output 24 sausage. You're going to put out 15 and 15. So we're going to get 30 sausage. And for every 30 sausage, we will get 50. No, 30 meat. For every 30 meat, we'll get 15 sausage. Uh, one meat does 27 people. One sausage does 22 people. But we make bless all sausages and we make a decent amount of meat. Now, of course, I can double everything, but to double everything, I need to double the chickens. To double the chickens, I need to double the corn or the wheat, the whatever we are converting an animal feed. We do have these guys set up. Don't forget, uh, we can add potatoes. So the excess potatoes we're making, we could turn an animal feed. We get 48 animal feed back for every potato. We're currently corn and wheat, you get a lot more. By the same token, corn and wheat take a lot longer to grow. So what the best answer is, I don't know. But with all that said, I think this is where we're going to leave this episode. Yeah, you guys are trimmed back in the corner. Holy crap. You guys take, take, take too long. Ah, there's coal right there. Uh, you guys don't take long to trim back anything. Look, we'll give you a couple more tiles just, just to sort of even things out a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to send you guys over there. We're going to call it here for this episode. I, I'm not going to go into retirement yet. We played with our chickens. We we, we, we made our meat. We, 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 we turned our meat into a sausage. We shoved our meat and our sausage into a dark hole. And I'm not going to go into retirement yet. We've got more episodes to do. Next episode, we're going to be playing um, with, well ethanol um hopefully i can turn it to booze you know to celebrate everything that we've done and accomplished in this episode if not we're going to turn it into plastic and then medical supplies you know because they keep sneezing on one another occasionally and when they do everybody seems to get sick at the same time so we're gonna call it here for this episode as always thank you guys so much for watching do hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys in the very next episode with less meat more, less sausage but uh more more progress more medical supplies maybe we'll play with some some scalpels and some uh, scalpels and syringes, I think they're called. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll work it out what is in the next episode. But I'm going to call it here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next one. Right, bye.